It is quite fascinating to see that almost every other day we have a new tool which enables us to run large language models locally in very very easy ways. In this video I am going to introduce you to Open Web UI which was formerly called as Olama Web UI. I have covered it previously I think few months back but it has evolved a lot so I thought of sharing it with you again. With this Web UI you can run it on Windows and Mac and I think on Linux too. But the good thing is that now it integrates natively with Olama, which I already have installed on this system, but I will show you how to do that. And then we will see how can we utilize it with the local LLMs. So let's get started. The tool which I'm going to use for in order to get it installed is Pinocchio. Pinocchio is a quite simple tool and it has come a long way to be honest. So in order to get installed Pinocchio, just go to pinocchio.computer and I will drop the link in video's description. From there, click on this download, whatever your operating system is. And then, for example, I am using my private Windows system. Just click on download for Windows. It will download a zip file on your system. Unzip it by right clicking on it and then click on setup file and then next, next, next. It is going to install Pinocchio on your system. Once that's done, just launch Pinocchio and you will be presented with this screen and let me make the background bit white so that you will be able to see what is happening here so this is a pinocchio here now in order to install this web ui just type here maybe web ui so there you go so we have our open web ui here simply click on it once you will click on it it is going to ask you to download this open uh, web ui click download Let's wait for it and then yes, just keep it this name here. And this is the beauty of it. With single click, you have downloaded it. Now click on install. It is going to install it on your local system. You don't have to worry about any git command or all that stuff. It is doing it everything for you. It is cloning the GitHub repo, extracting it, seeding to it, and then it is going to do the installation. How good is that? And it is going to install a lot of things at the background. If this is what you are doing first time, then it might take longer time because it installs Conda, installs a lot of stuff on Windows. I already have the Conda, so it is taking a bit lesser time. You can see that it has created a Conda environment and <clears throat> it is now creating a new Conda environment, installing all the prerequisites in that Conda environment. So let's wait for this one to finish. You don't have to do anything except wait. Installation is still running and I will let it run. Meanwhile, let me give you a bit more information about Open Web UI. So it is an extensible, feature rich, and user friendly self hosted web UI designed to operate entirely offline. It supports various LLM runners, including Olama and OpenAI compatible APIs, and you can use it with other stuff too. The good thing about it is that its chat interface takes inspiration from ChatGPT, so it is very, very user friendly and easy to use. Experience on both desktop and mobile devices is same. And yes, you can run it on mobile devices too if you have the good um, power on them. It is very responsive. Another cool thing about it is that you can even put it on Kubernetes by using hem charts or kubectl and customize. And I will be making a video there too. But of course, you cannot use Pinocchio with that. And there are a lot of themes which you can check with it and we will also see if we can put in another theme when it gets started. You can highlight the code. It also supports latex and full markdown. One of the good thing about it is that you can also do local rag integration. So what it means is that you can chat with your own documents. So from directly from the chat, load your own documents. And then from that library, you can uh, access them using hash command in the prompt and we will also check it out one thing i can uh, tell you that sometime it faces some issue because rag is very new to it so there are some bugs to iron out but still a good option if you want to <clears throat> change the rag embedding model so rag embedding model is which converts your text into embeddings or numerical representation that is our model um, works on them so for that, you need an embedding model. So if you want to change the embedding model, you can do that too. So you can integrate it with your URLs, with your web browsing. It also gives you some preset prompts. So for example, 
different models have different presets like llama 3 has different vicuna has different there is a chat ml and different props so you can select out of them you can even empower your messages by rating them with thumbs up and thumbs down so primarily what you are doing is you are doing re, um, reinforcement learning with human feedback how good is that and you can even use your messages to train or fine-tune models all while ensuring the confidentiality of your locally uh, safe data model weights whatever you are using you can even categorize and locate specific chats for quick references and streamline data collection of course you can do the mo model management easily like uh, deleting the model removing the models that sort of stuff and it integrates successfully with olama and as we are speaking it is done just click on done here and then you can click on start to get it started it is saying launch olama i think my olama should already be there so click on this one and it is it is asking me to download the olama i already have it i'm not sure why it is not checking it out but that is fine let me reinstall it you see i already have it but anyway let me do it again that is fine let's wait for it to finish i'll just say open file maybe it uh, it says sure automatically close it maybe it uses olama embedded into this one i'm not sure i thought it will just pick up my existing olama but that is fine let let's wait for it to install it again almost there that is done olama is running and then click on next let's wait for it to initialize you can ignore this warning so there you go you can see that open web ui is installed and running and this is a server process and on the left hand side you can click on this open web ui which is going to open it and you would need to sign into it by the way so just sign up with your email account let me do it quickly so i'm logged in with my email account and then this is the interface you get now there are a lot of things you can do here <clears throat> for example you can select the model from the top so i'm just going to go with llama 3 latest 8 billion we have set it and then i can click on new chat which is already there you can select your model files i don't have any model file at the moment but you can import them if you already have downloaded them on the local system these are the prompts you can set them at, uh, up here and these are the documents which i was telling you you can do for the ragging so for example you click on here and then select your document let's go to new chat first and you can chat with it so maybe i'll just say how much is enough in life let's put the model not selected let's select the model again i thought i selected it anyway there you go let's wait i think first time it might download the model so that is why there is a bit delay i guess anyway so let's wait for it there you go look at the response so i'll just go up a little it says what a profound and complex question how much is enough can be applied to various aspects of life financial security career fulfillment relationship so amazing stuff let's do a bit of a rag so click on documents click on plus let me select a document from my local system so i have just this pdf file which says my pdf save it and i can just select it hash my pdf pdf okay so let's see if i can chat with it just need to remember the name hash my pdf pdf so i'm just going to chat i'll first say i'll select the model from top i'm not sure why it is not okay set as default you see so you need to click on this set as default that is good so i'm first going to ask it who is fahad mirza so let's wait for it so you see it is saying that uh, some pakistani american entrepreneur which i am not let's see because that my pdf is about myself i did hash pdf uh, hash and it has 
popped up my document automatically how beautiful is that loving it now ask it the same question who is Fahad Mirza press enter hopefully there you go so it has checked my document and given me the grounded answer in that document and that is what retrieval augmented generation or rag is all about so now you can chat with it you can do ragging with it and you can change the models you can download your own models on the left hand side uh, of this web ui you can do a lot of things like click on fahad click on admin panel and here this is my user you can get uh, you can create more users too so this is a user this is a database you can download your own database the thing which we have just done and then you can click again here click on you can go with uh, playground you can play with it helpful assistant you can add your messages and then if i click here go to settings and then um, these are the connections if you want uh, your team to talk with it too you can host it here they can access it you can go with audio you can go with images and of course you would need a model for it which you can download with uh, olama vision and these are the chats you can export them import them you can annotate them and use that use them as your own data set and then this is the interface you know what sort of um, style you want and all the, those things so you can see web open web ui is really cool i mean you can do a lot of stuff and pinocchio has made it so easy to run it so simply click on discover and then you will be here yeah, that's it how good is that so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching